Okay, napapansin naman po ninyo kahit presidential na uh, campaign, uh, senatorial, party list, lagi kong nababanggit ang kuryente. The issue of electricity, which none of the presidential candidates would bring That's up it. in their debates, we will bring up and we have uh, very important breaking news. Ano? Uh, kung dati, lagi naming sinasabi sa inyo, ang ating uh, electricity is overpriced because overpriced ang asset valuation. Ibig sabihin, yung sinasubmit na presyo ng Meralco uh, sa kanilang electric poles is 500% overpriced at yung kanilang uh, power transformer 1,000% overpriced and therefore the uh, charges uh, that they uh, submit to government uh, to charge us is overpriced. For the past four years, uh, our, uh, ho our guest, uh, Mr. Jojo Bora, has been fighting this at the ERC uh, at the uh, uh, cost of uh, a lot of attorney's fees, he, his own 27, uh, 24 7 hours and days, no? Mm -hmm. uh, every week, uh, every month, every year, for four years. Ngayon, uh, may magandang uh, maire report siya. So, Ginong Jojo Borha, please uh, explain to <coughs> us what uh, has happened that has made you also very happy. Yes, there's a major breakthrough. You know, Mintong. Four years we have been filibustering in the hearing room of ERC because we oppose the manner in which uh, Meralco and all the other regulated industries uh, computed the rates for electricity, mainly because they were based on erroneous figures. Uh, as you said, some uh, assets were overpriced by 500 and even up to 942%. This means, you know, the business of electricity is whatever you invest on, you are allowed a capital recovery fee of about 18% plus profit. Now, if an item like uh, a power transformer bought by a uh, distribution utility or a transmission uh, business like NGCP, when uh, the price is supposed to be only uh, 25 million, but then they overprice it up to 107 million, so the capital recovery fee becomes 18 percent of 107 million instead of 18 percent of 25, 25 million. million. That is why the rates has gone up drastically in the last uh, eight years. So finally, after all our constant. Uh, position papers and opposition to all their uh, applications, ERC finally, uh, last on the 22nd of April, uh, gave notice to Meralco or the power industry, distribution, the regulated industries like uh, transmission and uh, transmission and dis distribution utility gave them notice to make comments on the drastic measures that ERC will, will impose mm -hmm. to be able to, uh, to uh, get the right uh, valuation of the assets so that the consumers are not, uh, are not uh, overpriced in uh, passing through so, all this. So you have equipment. a news item here, no? You have a news item yes, here you brought, that news no? item is, it supports this voluminous sets of documents mm. by which uh, Miralco will have to make comments on. Mm. And as a shortcut, uh, this is the gist of uh, what ERC wants. It says here, the major changes concern how ERC will value the DUs assets and the corresponding return that the DUs are entitled to the calculation of the weighted average cost of capital both of which will have a major impact on the rates that will be passed on to the consumers. Okay, yes, let me said. look at it also. Okay, go ahead. So, go ahead. That was, uh, that is in the website of uh, ERC. It came out on the 22nd of April. I was surprised why none of the presidential candidates even mentioned this, uh, this issue of okay. uh, ERC. Uh, uh, putting the case on the table. Okay, so let me uh, again sum this up uh, so that the layman can understand. 
uh, ERC will change the system of valuation yes. of the distribution utilities like uh, Meralco is a distribution and, and utility. NGCP. And NGCP is a transmission yes. uh, company. But uh, generation, how is generation? Uh, ge generation is another. That's another. But th that is also another issue mm. that... Uh, we are up against uh, because but, uh, uh, it's the same, but it's the same thing. The, a lot of the overpriced is in the DU or both have overpricing? All even? of them are overpricing. Uh, it's, it's like one club. Oh, uh, one club. They buy the same set equipment mm. and they overprice it. They, mm. they uh, what do you call it? They capitalize mm. the pricing. Okay. So, uh, sabi ng ARC, there will be a major impact on the rates that will be passed on to the consumers, passed on to you. Yes. So we, come have, we still have to continue fighting this yes. to make uh, sure. We, huh? oh. we have to be on top of the situation because as a, a due process requirement, mm. ERC will have to make this, this, this uh, regulated uh, uh, industries mm. uh, make comments on their uh, changes. Mm. But uh, we have to be on top of the situation so that uh, there will be no watering down because it is not only a decrease moving forward. We also want to compute the over recoveries for the last eight years. As I said, Mentong, we are practically asking the distribution utilities and transmission to return about 50% of what they have been collecting from uh, the consumers. How many billions is that? Uh, that is billions and billions of pesos. That's why. You should run for president. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, it's on the table. It is already a, uh, a case that's going on. Mm. And whoever wins, mm. they will not be able to change that mm. because ERC saw to it that it will not be affected by any change mm. of administration oh. or retention yeah. of the present administration. Uh, by so the way, maybe to, to, to update the uh, audience, there has been a major revamp in the ERC. Yes. Uh, no, there have been changes of personnel, and yes. uh, the Dukot is now uh, under uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. the yes. charge yes. of, uh, no, no, uh, of, of plunder, I think. No? Uh, so this is the fruit of many years of work of George Ibarra. We, we will not forget yes. uh, among... Uh, Hi, uh, Enaro, uh, no, uh, Lualhati, uh, one uh, of the pioneers, no, yes. and uh, and uh, our many colleagues. So, last uh, minute uh, for your message, uh, you have to go back to Iligan City immediately. Yes, right? yes, yes, yes. I've been uh, <coughs> prioritizing this, uh, uh, you know, in a, in the midst of an election uh, period. Mm. Uh, these thi things have been taken up, mm. so we don't want uh, to. Uh, to leave a stone and turn mm -hmm. because once uh, Meralco or uh, NGCP will answer the issues raised by mm -hmm. uh, by uh, ERC, will be there again to answer and put them back in the box mm -hmm. because this uh, this uh, uh, distribution and uh, transmission business has been trying to get out of the box because yeah. from the very beginning we have been telling that you have done wrong the consumers. You have been collecting rates that are erroneous and violations of the law. Yeah. So that uh, you will just have to return all the over recoveries that you have been charging consumers for the last eight years. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, uh, we have our last uh, 30 seconds. You know? So we must thank Jojo uh, Borja and Magnaro Lualati and all those who have fought. But uh, we should not uh, let up this yes. effort. You know? And uh, so you'll have to fly back to Iligan. Yes. And if there's another uh, issue here, you'll have to fly, fly back fly here. Back again. Okay. So with that, uh, maraming salamat po, Ka Jojo, ano, for all your efforts. Ano? And uh, good luck. Take care. So there you hear it, the real presidential issue <laughs> that a non-presidential candidate is, uh, is tackling. Ano? Maraming salamat po and have a good weekend and uh, have a good election day, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Bye.